And welcome back to what hopefully is the last part of my number nine. I have a good feeling about it this time, guys. I swear I do. Still got a full thing of health? That's never happened before. Shoot, no! Never mind. There goes all my goodwill. Nope, nope, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. No, nope. and yep, this is, never mind. I jinxed myself. Okay, we got something. Let's hope I don't take any more hits. I make it a priority to not get less than half health by the time I am done with this boss battle. I keep forgetting which weapon is which. Oh wait, no, 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 take it, yes, all right. That was a bit of a delayed reaction there. Oh. Hello. One of my two ferret, uh, patterns. It's one of my two favorite patterns for, uh, mostly because it's just how predictable it is. And now I'm always confident in dodging it. And we're gonna do this, and we're absorbing. Yes, we did it. That was goal one down. More than half health. Now let's see if I can handle it. I doubt I will be able to. Get in the middle. Whoops. Absorb you. Okay, did that too soon. Need to destroy as many of these things as quickly as possible. At least I absorbed some of her health. And I think the strategy for this move is to destroy the middle part and then get in the center. Okay. This boss battle just got a lot easier. Now that I know what we're supposed to be doing, and then I can just shoot her like this as soon as she stops. Never mind. Not very potent. We have our strategy. Captain. We have our heading. Absorb you. Get as much health down as possible. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I have... Because, guys, what you're not seeing here is my many attempts at this. And I am hating this boss. Oh, my gosh. She was going... Okay, that was a... That was not... That was a weird glitch. Okay, absorb you. Now I must get this. Well, now it's impossible for her to hit me. Calling it a her. Although, I wonder if this brandish sword will have it. What I'm not showing is the whole... And you're just better off staying on this side. That's right. You ain't doing nothing to me. Not this time, Missy. I don't think so, at least. No. Okay, I think you're supposed to jump when there's a break. Oh boy. But I still got eight lives. This honestly is probably my best run. If I had an XL tank there, I probably would have been way better off. Guys, just hopefully this is the final boss and credits part. Probably not the credits part, because I've heard th the credits is like four hours long. Or something like that, because of all the backer rewards. Okay, please give me an XL tank. Yes, okay. Now that we got a better strategy on her. Things should be going a lot easier. Let's get this going. A little bit closer, not too fast. Just keep doing this. Now, and I still get hit. What the heck? And this is not going as planned. Still need to hold strong. Still need to hold strong. I feel sorry for whoever is trying to do a buster only run. Because I bet you there's some people doing that. It would make sense to do a buster only run in this game. Alright, we're doing this again. No, uh, why did I. Th I think it's because I stopped swinging in that one instance. I don't care. 
I'm gonna stay strong. I know your secrets, Trinity. You can't get the best of me anymore. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Can I jump across? Try to get some more health off of you. Not that that's possible. And I probably should have stuck with the battalion thing. Alright, then this will be the last hit. We still managed to do it without feeling weak. Little butterfly. Fly away, butterfly, because I'm going to get you this time. I hope. Oh, so I'm never confident on runs where I don't get an Excel sheet. Or an Excel. Excel sheet, jeez. An Excel tank. Because that's just what they're called. Oh, dang it. Too soon. Still better than my previous runs. Go through you. That'll allow me to get more, some more hits on you. I want, I, I guess, just take out those things as slowly as possible. But at the same time, don't screw yourself over. Nope. Nope. No. Oh, why is it always gotta be in those instances? Still doing better than last time. Ha. We got the strategy. This war shall be won. Oops. You're being too fat. I don't know how I keep surviving that, but I do. Still allows me to get more hits on you. This is starting this is starting to get fun. Okay, no, using the XL. Cause I know for a fact this is not gonna go well. I know for a fact this the Caesar strategy. Yep, go. Wow, that is a f that is really fast. Okay, well there's that. Please go back to doing your totem pole thing. I guarantee you, I'll be able to do it this time. Shoot, no, no, don't get any closer. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm getting nervous. Nope. I am confident. I am confident in my abilities, somewhat. Oh, wait, I can actually do this. Yeah! What happened? Wait, what? What? What's going on? No, what's going on? What? The, what's going on? Hey! Nate, talk to me! Tell me your name. What are you doing? Now is your chance. Finish it off with what? Come on. Step out of now it's your chance to finish it off. Take five minutes to prepare yourself. Oh my god. Did we do it? Blossom. <gasps> it's a girl. And then the whole thing collapses in on us. No talking. No... Please, no talking. Oh, what did we get? We got a D. I'm not... I'm not even surprised. Oh, that's an interesting design. It's a baby. Your true form. I did it. I mean, you did it, Trinity. We, we did it. What? Excellent work, Beck. Oh my god, he's emoting. So is the whole world made out of just cells? Yes, we get it. Can we leave now? Let's not show that off. 
You skip past the good part, guys. Come on, guys. Uh, we did it! Yes, no more battles, and we're only 10 minutes in. Wow, really? You couldn't even do this in the actual in-game stuff? You had to go all PS1 on us and show us a freaking picture. Oh, I think... Hmm. Party wants to say that's actually another backers design. Or is that- or I think that might be an in-game thing, or one of the staff actually designed- I don't remember, I don't remember, it looks familiar. What is going on here? This is like the ending of Mega Man 8. Is it the end of Mega Man 8? There was a montage of like pictures that have showed Mega Man just show- Really? That's it? Wait, legit? That's it? Wow, that was actually really underwhelming. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Well, that seems to be done, so now we're looking at all the English, French, and Japanese voice actors and actresses. Uh, pff, I've heard that this thing is four hours long. From going between uh, the staff and all the backers, just the backers themselves, I don't know why... They don't give you a speed up or slow down thing. I don't know why none of these. I don't know why any of these um video game sound um staff credits don't just you know allow you to fast forward. Conceptor, KG Inafune, because he cuz Mega Man. KG Inafune and Tompon. And here I thought that uh here I thought that uh the Mega Man. One, uh, credits was bleh. Cause then at least we got to see Mega Man run. At least that was in-game graphics, guys. You're not showing in us any in-game graphics, guys. Video game agent. The DDM. I should not be reading this, cause yeah, like I said, four hours long. I've said that three times already, I think. But, um, okay, so now I'm gonna give you the very rare... Occurrences where I complete a let's play my opinions on the game. All right, so Honestly as a person that backed this game for $60 has been waiting three years for this game to come out and All that I'm not completely impressed With what I got the game's presentation is very lackluster like, I don't like the graphics, you know, I don't like how little animation there is, especially when it came to the cutscenes and all that. Um, you know, it's kind of sad that, you know, some of the Mega Man games from, you know, I want to say the SNES or the PlayStation era, you know, they had better value, they had better, um, you know, they, like, it felt more satisfying, I should say. That, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know, I, everybody is saying that there's, they didn't spend all of the four million dollars that they have for the budget. They're saying that, you know, they're stashed, they only used like, not even a fourth of it, and they just did whatever the hell they wanted with it, and... I can totally believe that. I don't think they put all their all into this, because, you know, these people have been making games since the 80s, and when this is all that we're given... You know, I mean, the granted, this is also me playing the Wii U version. I mean, every, this is the pretty much worst version of it, unfortunately. Which is kind of sad because this is essentially a Mega Man game. You would expect it to be the best on the Nintendo consoles, but... No, the Wii U version... You know, and, uh... It's just messed up. Like, I can't even give a straight up, like, review or just throw out my opinions. There's so many things I want to talk about and all that. It just wasn't that, wasn't really, yeah, it wasn't really all that worth it, I think. 
not likely. It wasn't to happen. It's it's twenty dollars if you want to get on the eShop. I mean, I think it would be better if there was a price cut, cause I don't know. I don't think it. I don't even think even with all this, it was worth the twenty dollars. You know, that anybody else would have to spend on it, especially if it doesn't come with a DLC. I mean, it's definitely it definitely delivers, but it's supposed to be. You know, it's a Mega Man style game. It's, you know, it's the. Uh, it's a really difficult game, as you would have seen it back in the 80s or the 90s or the early 90s or whatever like that. It's definitely difficult. It took me forever just to fight the final boss, and some of the levels did give me a lot of crud. Like, I had to cut past a lot of stuff in the game, so... Yeah, it's a Mega Man game, but in that sense, only really Mega Man players will really get anything or getting any kind of enjoyment or any kind of fulfillment and even then it's probably not going to be that much because it's not Mega Man it's not you know as a Mega Man successor it's it just barely you know gets past the minimum as a standalone game it's pretty cliche and pretty lackluster you know something that you might as well be playing on a GameCube or whatever it's just kind of sad really cuz Back in 2013, this game was being hyped up to be the next coming of, you know, Mega Man. Mega Man was going to be saved and all that stuff. And really, it just ended up being kind of a, um, it just ended up being kind of a uh, self-fulfilling prophecy, if anything. So, Mega Ran. What's we got? Mega Ran. Ah, this freaking rap. Oh, here's all the backers. Yeah, it's. I'm really, I'm really getting kind of uh, worried right now that my opinions are gonna take the entire credits. We're all in the 900s, generous backer. Yeah, to think some of these people actually, if the game had come out earlier than it was supposed to, this probably would have been. This probably would have been. Uh, all this would have been full of names, but no, some of these are just generous backers either because they didn't give their names or. Because they just wanted to get their names taken out. A generous backer. Well, that's... Yeah, this is the reason why it's four hours long. And I, my name does not appear until much later in the game. Mighty number... Um, 42043 is my mighty number. So if you are looking at the credits... Hopefully to cred... My name appears there. Otherwise, I will feel even more ripped off. So, uh, it's really unfortunate. I would have loved to seen this become a full-fledged, you know, franchise based on its own merits. Because we know that he wants to make a sequel. But that's mostly because he wants to do it. Not because everybody else wants to do, wants it. Or because Mighty Number no. 9 in, you know, this game deserved it. Because when it feels, because when they, they decide to make a sequel, even when the fr the supposed franchise doesn't deserve it, it feels kind of, you know, like illegitimate. Like, this thing exists just because money or whatever, you know. I mean, it's a passion project. You can see it as a passion project, but which I usually like it whenever creators want to, you know, make a project based out of their passion, not so much out of... Uh, my, based not so much out of demand, but I don't know how that's going to happen, especially with Capcom starting to pay attention to Mega Man more nowadays, you know. We got that cartoon, we got a supposed game that's supposed to be made at least by next year, mostly probably based around the game, the uh, TV show. You know, we got the Legacy Collection out, we got um, some... Uh, some other stuff, Mega Man related, that's probably going to be happening by next year for his 30th anniversary. So, Mighty Number no. 9, I don't know. It'll probably just end up being a time capsule, a uh, product of its time. Which is a, what, uh, which is not going to help them very much. Which I hope that Comcept's uh, future projects help them. You know, help them get past all this. 
you know, ReCore is looking pretty cool. Um, Red Ash might still be a thing. I'll probably end up getting that game also just to see what it's like. Because, I mean, a PS4, a Mega Man Legends game on PS4 sounds pretty awesome. At least a modern Mega Man Legends game on PS4 sounds pretty awesome. Um, Azure Striker Gun Vault 2 is a game I am excited to go and play. So that one's looking pretty cool. Um, but yeah, for now, all we really got is Mighty Number no. 9, and this is all it really is. A mediocre game, at best, coming out three years later, one year later than it should have. I'm looking forward to other spiritual successors like Ukulele and Bloodstain. Both of those will be coming out on Wii U. I'll probably end up getting those games. Well, I am getting those games since I backed both games. Playing through those. And, uh... Hopefully they end up um, serving a better purpose than they did with Mighty Number no. 9. Or than Mighty Number no. 9, no. 9 did. Stumbling over my words. Okay, just so that way I don't stumble over any more words anymore. And so that way this part is not five hours long. Guys, I thank you for joining me for this second complete Let's Play on Atomic Comms, Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, I'll have to decide what other game I might want to do a let's play of because uh, I only really did my number nine because uh, it's a game I was looking forward to and I knew it was going to be kind of short. So, yeah, anyways, like I said, thanks for joining me again. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do what you will with my number nine and uh, I'll see you whenever my next video gets put up. Probably be a Comic Con related video. Probably not. Anyways, see y'all later, and thanks for joining me. Have a good day.